a welcome to part six. So behind me, you can see a concrete pillar. And we're going to model these. We model them, we're adding a texture, we're doing UV unwrapping, and we're putting these pillars in the scene. So the pillars do not only work as a construction function, they also add some depth in the scene because we have multiple pillars in the scene. So that's pretty much it for this part. And let's do some modeling. Bye bye. And welcome to part six of the factory creation. Um, in the previous part, we created these metal construction beams. Uh, it was a bit more advanced modeling and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we will do more modeling, uh, working on the doors, but it won't be com as complex as these beams. So, uh, but yeah, I had to add something like this because this is all part of environment modeling. And sometimes you have to challenge yourself a little bit so you know what environment modeling is. Anyway, uh, we have these metal beams and I like to do some organization and clean up so we can continue. We have some blueprints we're not using anymore, some parts that are not needed. So we delete it. So let's select it and we press delete. Then we have this uh, extra construction beams. It's nice to have, but the only thing I really need is this big one, this big beam. So let's delete all the parts except the top one. And then we create a new collection. I'm calling this metal beams. We're selecting all of it and putting it right there. And we create a new collection and call this concrete beams because that's what we're going to do in this part. Let's go to the viewport and we're in the UV editing. Let's go to modeling, press zero. So that's much better. So let's select the camera. So whoops, camera. I like to change the perspective, the focal length to 22. Yeah. And we're shift tilt a little bit more backwards. So we have more space more viewport because we work with the pillars um, and I need this yeah, I need more space in the scene. So what uh, is the plan? Uh, I'm going to add annotation. We go to view and then annotation new selected. So we're going to make these. Uh, yeah, <laughs> these construction beams don't judge my painting skills. I'm going to make these pillars here. I'm going to make some over here as well. Pillar. Oh, that's that's bad. So pillar. But also a pillar over here. In the corner. Uh, you get the point. So uh, and these pillars are really essential for this factory. Uh, I'm going to remove the annotations. Uh, it will create depth and give some more body on the scene. Um, so yeah, I'm selecting this square so the annotation is gone. Uh, you should not do that. It's just my uh, my explanation. Um, I would like to switch back to the workbench. And we're going to the concrete beams and add a cube. Go to render mode and I like to put this cube between these two windows, make it smaller and a little bit rectangle shape, not too much, just a little bit and putting it right there. Okay. So we go to the camera view and we're just press G and Z. So, and then uh, S Z we're scaling this and we're dragging this and I can see that the screencast is snapping again. Uh, so as to see, you can just scale any viewport. Uh, don't do this. <laughs> or we have to do that, but just want to show. So we have a pillar and it's in the right position, but it feels a little bit too thick. Um, so it can help your scene, but it can also break your scene in the viewport if you have something very large in close to the camera. Um, I want to divide this large room into like multiple parts and these pillars are essential. So, but yeah, they're, it's too thick. So I like to scale it a little bit as Z. 
and this feels like a little bit more feels better control a rotation and scale so this is what we have call this concrete pillar exactly what we need um, and we can delete the top face and the bottom face and the reason is I want to go to the vertice selection mode pressing one is control L select it is I want to add a bevel on the sides so you press control B and move your mouse and scroll your wheel one two and three something like this don't do it over well it will be a round pillar something like this feels good all right so play with it if you if it's hard for you to find the balance just play with the bevel and you will be all right so because i like to uh, use a displacement map on these pillars as well the geometry should be like should be right so i like to add two edge lines right here one over here one there and two here and then we're going to add them horizontally and i want to have square sized uh, faces so i'm just adding more and more something like this i'm not counting them but this will be fine so what about the uh yeah, scaling is right go to object and shade smooth your pillar and I like to add a texture. So from this point, we go to solid view and then turning back to cycles. Okay. So we go to material, new concrete pillar. And we go to the shading tab. Go to the viewport. And we add a texture, image texture. And yeah, I had to put this just in plain concrete pillars, but it has a conversion to 4K. That's why the naming is weird. It's called CPP. Um, that's called uh, Concrete Pillar Paint. <laughs> uh, I went to a factory with multiple pillars and some were rough concrete. And this was painted. And they both had like a very unique look. So I scanned both of them. I think one of them is on, yeah, these are on Polyhaven for sure. Um, and for the factory, it's just a lovely texture. But CPP is not a good naming. I think it's not CPP on Polyhaven, so don't look for that. Um, and put a normal right there. Okay, it's still called roughness, so we have to select a normal. And later on, we do the displacement. All right, so we we'll look at the material, it looks weird. So how do we add a texture on a pillar? Um, different than the construction beam and the factory, this time I like to select everything and pressing U. And instead of using the Q projection, I'm using a cylindrical projection. So it's fitting it perfect on this without having stretched elements as Y, Something like this. I want to check how that looks. Oh, go to the material. <laughs> this screencast. I think when I, I'm pretty sure if I switch tab, screencast is dying. Uh, not good. So we have a pillar and it has the right thickness. So what I like to do is aligning them in the room. We have to do a little bit of cheating because this line is not really intersecting with this line. It's same for the left. What will be good? So um, what we will do is we're moving this pillar a little bit to the right and it can overlap a little bit because we will also um, add a construction beam horizontally. All right, so we have one pillar. We duplicate it and putting it right here. Yeah, not between them, something there because I also want to have a pillar at this point. So that looks like this. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, don't worry, I like symmetry as well. Uh, but for the pillars, we use it a little bit different. Same here, it's not symmetry. Uh, yeah. There's not a lot of symmetry right there. Like so, that's good. 
shift D. And what I have to do is changing the UVs each time I duplicate. Like, or you simply rotate it 180 degrees. I want to have a pillar on the other side over here and just move the UVs. That's more than enough. And what I like to do now is we're duplicating the pillar. We're rotating this. Oh, go to the vertices selection mode and we're stretching this one. Um, it's kind of weird because we now have a lot of stretched uh, vertices. Um, but for the large ones, it's all right. This one will have displacement, but it's not close to the camera. So uh, I don't bother. I like to scale it in the O, control A, rotation and scale, and put the origin back in the uh, pillar and scale it a little bit so it's overlapping and bring this down like so. Just great. Okay. And we have to just do this and scale it a little bit back. You don't want to have them too much overlapping in the factory. What do we have? What's well, not bad? Maybe a bit more inside. Shift D. Ooh, I don't like to do that in the uh, object mode. As Y, bring them back together. As Y. So this one is challenging as well. It's overlapping. So what I will do is just move this one to the to the left. Sometimes you don't get away with it. Um, so far, so good. And we are continuing with duplicate uh, the, the beams on all sides. So shift D right here. In edit mode, we are scaling this back a bit wider. How does it look like? Just checking the texture. Yeah, that one needs to be less stretched. Okay, a bit more inwards like this. And they're now starting to connect all with each other. Shift D, rotate, and always using the snapping tool. Otherwise, it will like end up slightly like this. That's not okay. <laughs> As Y, UI. Okay, and this one can be a bit more stretched. I always double check this. Yeah, it's too much outside, so merging this in. So the next thing is I want to get rid of these uh, underneath the pillar. I want to put two pillars on the left and the right. So I don't need these. Um, so what I like to do is uh, select it and shift left click, left click, and left click. And it depends a little bit where your intersection is. And we can see vertices over here. So I can just select everything. But if your um, for edge line is right here, you can add a new edge line. Um, but yeah, don't, don't, or just scale them afterwards. Vertices. So we have these construction beams over here. All right. So we continuing with the pillars. Shift D. Exactly in the middle. Yeah. And change the texture. Just move this. I want to have one in the corner. Like this. This needs to be connecting, otherwise it will be spacing. Yeah. Good. G Y. A bit more. And we're duplicating it again. A lot of pillars. But it will have quite an impact on the scene. Okay, so I will probably move these later to measure them 
have a better measurement, but for now these are like not placeholders, but I think they're all right. O G Y something like this. Okay. And move the textures G Y. Okay, so I'm preview making a preview of this. Um I don't like that these are <laughs> matching, uh, but not too bad. Okay, so let's go to modeling. And I want to preview this in the render mode. How does it look? Look at that. So this pillar, if it was like close to the camera, it will really be distracting. But it's now right there, and later on we will add like uh, shelves and props, and then it will be part of it, and it won't break. And now we have like a line over here, and that separates these two rooms, especially when we start adding the lights right here. Um, it will um, work as a function. So uh, pretty nice. So there's one thing I like to do before ending this lecture. We have this uh, construction beam. I'm pressing Shift D right there, and I like to. Um, the best way is just cutting off a part, and uh, that will be this part. So we go inside. It's floating, and I want to have them right here. So everywhere construction beams. So shift D will be right there. Shift D like this and one more. And you won't see this uh, beam, um, but you will see the other ones. And therefore we go to UV editing, select everything and just move them to another area. I'm so uh, I know repeating textures always break the scene, so you just move that upwards. That will be enough. All right, so we finished the pillars. Yeah, I just wanted to just move this to the left, but I cannot see my merge icon, so I go to modeling. That's better. That's that's kind of weird. Looks like a blender bug. <laughs> um, yeah, go to render mode. And uh, pretty nice. I uh, will probably change a little bit of the color of the construction beam, but uh, yeah, it works now pretty well. Um, so we're ending this lecture, and in the next one, we take care of the the lighting. So uh, we're importing a light prop. We're not going to model that. Uh, that's part of the course, a light armature and all the connections with the beams. Uh, we're adding a separated light system, uh, area lights, um, it will be fun. It's in fact the same as we did in part two, uh, but then on a larger scale. So, uh, but look at that, uh, with the construction beams and the metal beams, it starts to look like a scene, uh, but we're not there yet. We're not even close. We're going to make it look epic uh, and glad you're still here. Uh, Let's make something nice out of it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next part.